Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is a redo of, of, I think this originally was my third series I created, maybe the second. I know my first series was um, Foxfire Deku, but we're not, I plan to redo that one at some point, but we're not going to worry about that for right now. This is my Pride Deku. Yeah, this is going to be a lot more darker than normal because of what type of character Pride is. And how I'm gonna set this up. It's gonna be quite a quite a quite a ride. Alright, we're gonna establish some things. Now, Izuku is gonna be the reincarnation of Pride, but there's gonna be some changes, like the time frame he was um reincarnated. We'll get we'll we'll actually we'll do that in the story. So let's get this spawns rolling. Pride Deku was reincarnated. In olden times, during the during the empire of ancient Egypt, where um, Apopolis has you know been pharaoh for several generations, there are a couple generations of his normal rule, making mutants and doing his work. Suddenly, there's been a case of murder all around his um around his kingdom. As each uh, mutant he sends, they never return back as you have the public just walking walking in this city as there's blood splatter everywhere, but there's no bodies. The next several years, this shadow monster that Apoplex believes has been trying to kill him. For about three or four years straight. That's the pun when um, the Celestials approached the planet. As with the Celestials there, they were able to fight off Pride Deku and able to seal him. But they have a um, they are trying to figure out where to put put this creature. As when, um, sorry, when Galactus was born, and when he did his job of, um, of devouring planets, because that's how he was made, they placed, they placed Pride Deku into him, as Galactus himself is his prison. It was before the Celestials just up and vanished, and never been seen again. That's the last time they, um, the Celestials interfere in, in mortal affairs. They had no choice but to seal uh, Deku. Pride Deku, basically. They couldn't kill him, so they had to imprison him. Happened to Egypt. Oh, sorry. What passing you know, what what Izuku did in Egypt slowly turned into a legend. Then became into a um what's it called? Give me a second guys. Urban legend that slowly was turned into a um well a horror story basically. A tale of give me a second here. Actually it was turned into a urban legend. The demon of Egypt. As the centuries go go by, while Izuku's been in prison in Galactus himself. As we cut to the current time, at um Verilaria, or I forget the name, but Victor Von Doom as he's baited Galactus. As he waits for his moment, as he immediately opened fire, as he begins sucking the power of Cosmic from Galactus himself. And using them in his robots and weapons. What happens in, can what happens in the comics, but, you know, minor changes now and then. As Galactus, you don't know what you're doing. You're a fool. Stop, you're going to kill us all. 
what you're doing, mortal. You have just doomed us all. I cannot keep him contained. Dervon Doom fears nothing. Your power will be mine. Black material shoot out of Galactus's chest as it covers the whole surrounding where they're at. As immediately Victor Von Doom sees eyeballs and mouths everywhere as they begin to start to laugh. <laughs> I'm finally free after such a long time. It spends quite some time, Galactus. Human, I will give you a reward for freeing me. I will spare your life for now. But for you, my old prison, you are no longer needed. As something underneath Galactus, as the mouth opens, as Galactus follows through, as he's reached out his hand, trying to grab the edge, as the mouth closed, as chops off Galactus's couple fingers as they fall to the ground. As Dr. Von Doom hears screaming from his civilians, as he looks back at the creature, What are you doing? I told you I would spare you. But them, other hand, I never gave such promise. It's been so long since I ate. I'm so hungry. What do they call you, human? I'm Victor Von Doom. You pay for what you did today. Uh-uh-uh. No reason to get yourself killed. After all, I would feel bad if I spared you and ate you anyways. We will meet again, Victor Von Doom. So many people to meet. This is going to be fun. Goodbye, Victor Von Doom. Until we meet again. Don't worry. I left half of your population alive. Consider that a gesture of good faith. Von Doom. Goodbye. As immediately, the Blacks shadows that was covering all the surroundings disappear as for sorry four years has passed since the incident at victor von doom's um country laveria that's what it was called as isaac has been quiet no death no one disappearing until one night in the Big Apple, I believe, um, Spider-Man's territory that, of that, of that he patrols. As you see a group of thugs, some minor gang, that's on the low on the totem pole when it comes to the gangs out there. The whole room goes black. As slowly, they're searching around. The lights are not working. As suddenly they see eyes all over all around the walls. Slowly the mouth start opening. The gang members are scared shitless. What do you want? What do I want? That's a good question. I originally were gonna eat you all, but I have changed my mind. I decided I'm going to help you. Help us? How? Simple. Allowed to proper introduce myself, humans. As all the shadows come strictly to the middle of the ground, as they're all focusing on to a, um, seems like a body is forming. Allowed to introduce myself. I am pride. And from this on, from today on, you all work under me. Our leader won't allow that. What leader? You mean this leader? As he throws the leader's head. As they all look at terrified as he at um pride. Now 
Tell me, what do you guys do? Drugs. Guns. Us, um, we just do protection money. No wonder your equipment's so... Not so, not so good. Let's fix that, boys. Now. You're not going to kill us? Of course not. You belong to me now. Can't kill my own people. I'm men, so don't worry. I won't eat you, any of you, as long as you fall in line. And if one of you gets any smart ideas, tries to betray me, I'll eat you very slowly. Now, let's go get some. Let's go, boys. We need to get some proper equipment. Get into the vehicle. Where are we going, boss? Simple. We're going to get ourselves some guns. But where, sir? The gun store, of course. Don't worry, boys. These will only be temporary weapons. We just need to use these we these weapons we're going to basically steal for a little job. We're going to get some product so we could start making a profit. I will turn this sorry excuse for a gang into something people will fear. We're here, sir. Good. All right, grab your weapons, whatever weapons you have. And they have, you know, a couple, couple of them has a knife. Some of them has a bat. They're pretty um, unequipped for a gang, so. Bat, please. I see hands in the bat. As it has spikes on it. As he kicks the door open of the door store. As everyone sees Izuku with a bunch of other men. What do you need, sir? As Izuku swings his bat, smashed the, the owner right in the face, killing him on impact. As blood spatter. As everyone starts yelling, running out of the running out of the store. All right, boys, load up. We don't have long. You lie over there. Help with some um, um, retrieving all the weaponry we can put in, in, in into the vehicle. And you over there, you too. Get the gasoline from the car. Burn the shop to the ground. Burn the shop to the ground. I do like fire. It, it soothes me. Yes, sir. As you have Izuku, as you throw a match, as he tosses in into the store, as the store starts to catch fire, as Izuku walks out the door, as a second later you hear an explosion from the um, from the shop from a couple of you know. He then Izuku didn't grab all that um, all the merchandise. He left quite a bit there, so there's gonna be, yeah, fire and. Uh, and shells, not a good combination. As easy could get in, drives off as they're getting heading back to the lo to their base. Sir, we got web we got a web head on us. As easy look out the window as he sees Miles. Huh. One of the spider family. Interesting. Turn here. Go through the alleyway. Stop the car. I'll buy you some time. Boys, don't fail me. Understood, uh, understood, sir. Good. Bye. As they drive off, as Miles jumps down on the ground in front of Izuku. Well, 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 what do we have here? A spider person. Just easy on me, man, and to surrender. Oh, uh, I don't think so, kid. Well, he doesn't really know he's a kid yet. I don't think so, Mr. Spider. As he said, you disappeared and reappeared in front of, um, Miles as he jumped out of the way. As he has spider sense and all that, I think. 
Sure, I, I don't know much about Miles' powers outside of that electric web and shit, so, um, if he doesn't, he does in, in this, so, this, you know, let's go with it. As he jumps out of the way, as he, you know, smiles. Interesting. You don't have, um, ability to read minds, have you? No. Interesting. So... If I heard the rumors right, it does add up. This is going to be fun. Now, Mr. Spider, try to keep up. As immediately you see, gets faster and faster. As he's trying to get, um, trying, uh, trying to judge the speed where there's a gap between when he activates, when his um, spider sense activates, when he moves his body. Immediately, easy could create a shadow, um, well, dagger, as he slices. As Miles, you know, jumps out of the way as it ripped through his suit. Plus, you know, he has just have a slash mark on his chest. Ooh, that was close. You might want to be faster than that, Mister Spider. Immediately, Miles throws um. Shoots web at um Izuku as Izuku dodges out of the way, as he weaves as he's Miles can't keep up as Izuku elbowed him right across the face as he goes flying into the wall as Izuku appears in front of him, and kicked him in the stomach, as he grabs him by the th by the head, as he starts beating on Miles, very brutally. As Miles is coughing up blood, as Izuku's phone go off. As he, um, answered with his opposite hand. Good, boys. I'll be there in a second. As he puts the phone back in his pocket. Well, Mr. Spider, seems that our time has ended. I will spare you this time. He's talking on him, someone in the aircraft. Peter, I need help. <coughs> Oh, you're calling a little reinforcement, are you? Unfortunately, I can't play with you lot any, anymore today. Until we meet again. I look forward to our next encounter. Name's Pride. Do remember it, please. As Izuku sinks into the shadows, slowly... As he, as he waves Miles goodbye, a gesture, as his two fingers above his head, as he, as he um, kind of shoots his um, fingers outwards, like a little bit too, well, diagonal-wise, but anyways. The saying goodbye to Miles his own little way, as he disappears, as he reappears into the, um, his, his headquarters, or his hideout for his gang. As he sees all of them with the crates of weapons. Boss, you're here. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, boys. Now, remember, scratch off the serial number on these weapons. Please keep the ammunition in the second room. No smoking, understood, in that room. Yes, boss. Chop, chop. How did it go with the spider, sir? It was very interesting. A little boring, but interesting nonetheless. How many are these? How many are there? By the way. Including the one was after us today. Three more. Spider-Man. You know, Spider-Gwen. Don't know why they... And silk. Interesting, interesting. I do look forward to playing with the, each one of them. But first, we need to get you guys some better clothes. This won't do. But first, we need to earn some money. So we're going to attack a warehouse tonight. Filled with... Whatever drug they, uh, they've been pushing. We're going to take it. 
sell it, gain as much money as we can to get some proper equipment. Then, then get our name, our gang's name out there for a little more. Then we can recruit. Then we could, we could um, go into stage two. Don't worry, boys. When I'm done with you, this gang will be well known. Well known indeed. As over the next couple of months, Izuku's been hitting, hitting other gangs, stealing their merchandise and their weapons. As you know, Izuku's gang's been, um, gang he took over, has gained a name for themselves. As they've been attacking warehouses, stealing drugs, and selling them. Do whoever want to purchase such things? Izuku doesn't care because he doesn't really see much in these people outside of, you know, their snacks. You have Izuku. After waiting a couple times, oh, a couple weeks, as they finally are going to hit the museum. There's a couple priceless, you know, very valuable jewels and paintings and all. He knows someone in the black market. He could get quite a bit for that. So as, you know, they make um, their preparations, as they have finally put their um, plan into action. As Izuku and his men take out several men on the ground. But unknowns to Izuku, the museums are going to get hit by two people at the same time. As you have... Black Cat climbing on the wall as she slips through the ventilation um, shaft. As she goes through the, vision, uh, the, the vents in the museum. Have Izuku walking through the museum as every time a guard appears, uh, a shadow spike comes out of the shadow, piercing the man, killing the guard on sight. As Izuku goes to, to, to the um, security room, where they record everything. As Izuku butchers everyone there. As he takes the machete and just goes ballistic on these people. As blood spatter all over the room. Body parts are everywhere. As he shuts down the alarms off the exhibit that he's going to steal. A couple of... Couple of the paintings that has built in alarms onto them, so they're at the museum. This place is gonna be rigged with a bunch of alarms, so he's like, you chest off the ones that he wants. He's like, you did notice, um, Black Cat, but he didn't care, it didn't involve him as long as she's not going to interrupt in him and his um, business here. She could do whatever she wants. You lot stay into in, in, in the command, I'll contact you if I need anything. Yes, sir. The rest of you lot, start, start to gather everything we need. Yes, sir. What about the guards we, um, this, the, the security guards that we did capture? Kill them. Yes, sir. No guns. Understood, sir. As things you could come across, a pretty big exhibit in the middle of the room, as it, as it hosts a, a very big diamond. As he, as he just stares at it. As he hears someone. Jump from the vent into the onto the ground. Izuku heard it. Un, um, a human. Whatever. Wouldn't be uh, able to hear it. But I, I, Izuku heard it. Quite memorizing isn't it. That it is. As Black Cat, you know, step beside Izuku. I'm surprised you know I was here. I've noticed you. Since the moment I saw you enter the building through the vision, um, the vision laser system. Don't worry. I won't interrupt you in whatever you're trying to steal. So I take it you're after this... This, um... This piece... That's in this little cage here. Yep. As long as you're not going to stop me, cutie. We're, we're, we're good. But that alarm system is going to be a problem. Let's see. 
I could easily cut it out. And I'm not sure if that has a century alarm either. That could be another issue altogether. Allow me. As you go put this phone up. Yes, sir. Deactivate the alarm off the crystal I exhibit, sir. Just do what I say. Yes, sir. And just immediately, she sees the crystal, f you know, fall right through the shadow. As the shadow appear above a easy what well, the shell came out of his hand. As he has the diamond in his hand, as he hands it over to um to Felicia. I think her name is Felicia. I'm not totally sure. You know, you could have kept this. Oh, I could have, but I prefer to give it to you. Diamonds and crystals and all that gem stuff. It's not my forte. I'll leave that sort of thing to your hands. After all, it would be a shame if I took something that you were so desirable about. For all a pretty stone like that to be held by a very beautiful woman like yourself. She walks over to Izuku pretty close and she places her one of her fingers on Izuku's chest. Aren't you quite the flirt? I kind of like that. I go by Black Cat. And you? Well, Miss Black Cat, you may call me Pride. Izuku looks like he's in his mid-twenties. He's much older than that, but because of um, being alive for centuries and a homunculus, no doubt. Yeah, he doesn't really age. He could change his age at will, but no, he really doesn't really have. He has a very long lifespan, if he ever dies by that method. Sir, we have everything. You're interrupting me. Sorry, sir, but soon we get out of here very where very well. Leave us. Yes, sir. It's a damn shame. It's, it was starting to get interesting. I'll see you around, Pride. As, as um, Black Cat jumps up in air and goes through the vents, as she goes her way out, and as Izuku gets his, his way out. As he sees his men loading up his... um equipment as he sees black cat fighting surrounded by the spider family boys head back to the base without me i'll be there mo momentarily you have black cat breathing heavy as she's trying to look for a way out as they got all, all her surrounded as a um, black dome appears in front of um well in gate in and Gabe's um, black cat. As Izuku appears f from the other end of it. As there's a fist coming towards him as he grabs Spider-Man's arm. Got you, Spider. As he punches Spider-Man. As he goes flying, hitting it into a car pretty hard. As Parker spits out blood from the impact. Spider family all surround Izuku and Black Cat. As Peter finally get up. As Miles yells, that's pride. My apologies, Spider family. But this is where we take our exit. See you later, Spider-Man. After all, I'm enjoying this one's company. It would hate to ruin it. I would hate to see her in one of those prison outfits. That's very unappealing to me. As, as Black Cat and um, Izuku s slowly sink into the shadows. As Spider-Man tries to stop them as he was too late. As they disappear. Oh, I'm not sure Pride could do anything I'm doing in, in the story. So, um... I don't remember if he could teleport pe people through his shadows, but that's straight up bad. Izuku's able to do this stuff, so. Anyways. 
as they appear back at, you know, Izuku's base. As everyone sees Black Cat, you know, they're all staring at Izuku. As she leans over and kisses Izuku in the cheek. As Izuku's like, what was that for, Black Cat? Not only did you help me steal this precious little thing over here, you also... You also helped me escape. No one has done that for me. No one has ever done that for me before. Would it be much of a hassle if I asked you if I could stay with you for a while? Kind of have to lay low. The webheads will be searching. Of course, Black Cat. I was in line. I do enjoy your company. It's nice. Listen, boys. Whatever this lovely lady wants, she gets. Understood? Y yes, sir. Now get to work. That's probably where we're going to start our episode off. Hope you guys have a good night and day. Judge my time zones, and I'll catch you in the next video.